Today, we will be looking at new roles, new skins, new maps, new features, and much more for the brand new Among Us update. We even have some official news from the actual Among Us Twitter account, so stay tuned because we will be looking at that later on in the video. Alright, so first of all, what we're going to start with, we're going to start with some new skin ideas or a uh, new color idea or something like that. We've got this right here, which is basically a new, an entirely new set of colors. Um, I think it looks nice, pretty easy to make this. They're probably going to add this. All you have to do is just change the hue of the original colors. Now we've got a new role, actually. It's apparently the imposter role idea. Okay, so Gravedigger, which is actually, I think that's a pretty interesting idea. The Gravedigger can't sabotage, but they can dig graves of dead bodies, making it impossible to report them. You can't, you can't tell those Gravediggers, so I think that's pretty interesting because it's possible to report bodies and you can't tell those Gravediggers, so they would have to make, I guess, an outdoorsy kind of map or maybe just throw their body um, out a uh, trash chute or something, but still, nonetheless, it's an interesting idea. Alright, next up, we have even more role ideas, and I saw this one, this one, I think is really interesting. So we have the demo man. Don't know what that means, but pro can throw a grenade once. I don't know how a grenade does, but con is drunk, cannot see when lights are out, negative 33% vision. I don't know what how this would work. I don't know, man. You know, grenades are among us. It could uh, work somehow, I guess. I don't really know. The sniper, when on the highest slash most northern part of the map can use his sniper rifle once to take out someone. If you ask me, I think that's um, I think that's a bit retarded. I don't know how on earth a sniper or I don't, I don't know how guns or anything like that would work at all in Among Us, so I think that idea is a bit shite, sorry, but. Next one is the spy. Pro can become completely invisible twice for a few seconds. Con, you cannot move while becoming invisible, and becoming visible again takes a very long time. That could be interesting. You know, it, that could be actually pretty interesting. You could sort of see the imposter or something like that. In, I don't know. Interesting idea. I like it. Now, this next one, I actually do want this in. The security guard. Pro can place one security camera anywhere on the map, which can be accessed in security or on the guard's map, but can be destroyed by the imposter. Con has to do two more tasks, but still, I think that's a pretty cool idea. I do think um, the security guard idea is a pretty good one, you know, being able to place an extra camera anywhere in the map could be a bit OP, but I still think it would, it would be a fun sort of concept, I guess. This next one, now, I've already read this one, and oh boy, do I like this one. This one is good. Okay, the handyman, pro, can vent. So, this guy's not an imposter, by the way. Con, venting looks no different than the imposter venting. When venting, it will take some time to reach the other vent. Now, I think this is really... I think this is a good idea. This is the best one yet. I think this is really interesting because, you know, people will always mix it up. Like, oh, you're the imposter. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just a handyman. I'm just going through vents because that's what I do, you know? I think the handyman should have to vent to get to his tasks. But I think this role would be really good if the handyman actually, you know, had to vent to get to his tasks or something like that. I like this one. Upcoming next... I don't know about this one. The astrologist, when completely alone, can use an OG board to ask oh, a Ouija board to ask ghosts a question. Oh, ooh, now nah, I think that's not gonna work at all. Quite a time-consuming task, and ghosts cannot speak in words, but will answer with a person's icon. I think I could work. I'm not gonna lie. I think that could work, but I, th I thought it meant like, oh, ghosts can uh, you know actually type to you in the chat, which would obviously be dumb because there will be an insane amount of people abusing that system and just saying, oh, this person's the imposter, but if they add some sort of, you know, anti-cheat system where you can't actually, like, tell them who the imposter is, but you can, I guess, give clues or something. Alright, next up, we have some fan imposter roles. Minion looks like a crewmate, but helps out the imposter. Uh, that basically already exists. Uh, a lot of people play as third imposter already, so... Doppelganger can transform into another player once in-game. I... That, mm, that could be a good idea. I, I'm not gonna lie, that could be a good idea, but I don't know... I, I Again, I really don't know how a lot of these work, but... They could, they could work, you know? I, I, they, I'm not saying they couldn't work. I, uh, they could definitely uh, find some sort of working system for this, you know? Hacker can access and sabotage admin, door log, security, and vitals. I don't know what's the point of that, really. I mean, it, it's a cool idea, yeah. Maybe in free play mode they could add all these roles, but... In, in actual, like, public lobbies, I think these are just... I don't know. I, I don't think they have any reason to exist. 
Stalker, kill cooldown only decreases while in vents. I just, I don't kn know. All right, enough about roles. We are now going to move on to some custom maps. And after this, we're actually gonna look at a custom map from Among Us themselves, from the actual Twitter account, right after this one right here, which is the camp. That's actually what the name is, okay. So this is basically, I don't know, I thought it was a bit interesting. I don't know if I like it though. Basically the scale, but like completely re-changed. Everything is just changed. Um, I don't know. I don't know about it. It looks, it feels like a maze sort of, but maybe it could be like a hide and seek map or something, you know. I hope Among Us does add like some sort of hide and seek mode, but if they do, this map would kind of be perfect for it. Because it just, to me, this map just looks like one sort of big ass maze. And apparently it has motion trackers. Interesting idea nonetheless now let's look at the actual news from among us themselves around yesterday the among us twitter actually posted that a new uh, like an actual teaser for a new map and we, i actually have the tweet right here welcome to the official among us twitter get all the news peaks and fun shenanigans here and become a part of the crew no one cares about that but look at the brand new map look at that here's a special look at the new among us map for your eyes only. Don't show their imposters. Look at that. It, this, um, I know what this is. Okay, I know what this is from Henry Stickman. This really, I'm pretty sure, because this really does to me, this looks like a map from Henry the Stickman. And I think it is as well, because if you look at that purple guy down there, um, with the mustache, you know, that's the, I know that he's a Henry the Stickman character. If you've played the Henry the Stickman series, they're also made by the same sort of developers, Inner Sloth. I'm really excited for that because. 100% it's already confirmed. We already have Henry the Stickman things in the game. We have Henry Stickman pet, uh, two of them actually. And if we get more Henry Stickman actual Henry Stickman skins and a real Henry Stickman uh, sort of map, that's gonna be good. I, I don't remember which one this is. I think it's the airship or something like that. But another screenshot here, which actually shows the um, a sort of leak of the map. Just a tiny, a tiny bit of the map. That's what it shows. But And I am really excited for the new update. Hopefully, we're definitely gonna get some uh, Henry the Stickman thing. So, yeah, excited for that. Okay, now, we actually have a different sort of thing, which is solution for colorblind people. This is interesting. So, in Among Us, obviously, you got the um, people, vote people off based on colors all the time. Here, we have a solution by colorblind people, because, you know, there are people who are colorblind who obviously are gonna struggle in Among Us. Apparently, this is a solution for that, which is, number one, based on join order. Okay, yeah. Two, based on color name. Yeah, um, I think I could work. Based on color name. And, uh, also number three, based on join order. I don't know, these are just solutions. I, I think they could, I think they could work. Alright, next up, we have cosmetics, aka custom skins. I got this off Reddit and I just screenshotted it. Lily Pichu's cosmetics ideas. This is a fan art apparently. It's really good, which is why I picked this one. We've got Among Us cosmetics. You can just go ahead and read them for yourself. I don't need to read them out for you. But cat ears, they're definitely adding that. Watermelon hat. If you can see underneath the watermelon hat, I actually put cocoa melon cap because you already know that's that's co that's cocoa melon cap. And I think a cocoa melon cap would be perfect. Pewdiepie Pie would definitely love that one. And finally, we just have a few extra cosmetics or something like that. Rainbow, Galaxy, Cotton Candy, and Camouflage. I think these skins are um, cool. Maybe uh, maybe these could be like exclusive skins. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of opportunities, as I said, for the next Among Us update. And that's why I'm making this video. I just want to go over some of them because I do feel like the Among Us update is coming very soon. And I'm sure you're all as excited as I am because there's definitely gonna be a lot of new things. If you've all enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel, you know, show some support uh, so you can see future videos like this. Uh, I make all sorts of content, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.